Welcome to another episode of Raven Conversations. I'm Joe C. Mandel, State Public Affairs Officer for the Washington National Guard. And today I'm joined by Tech Sergeant Michelle Lai. She is an NCOIC for exercises over at the Western Air Defense Sector with the 225th Air Defense mm -hmm. Group. And her husband, uh, Staff Sergeant August Duran, he is a cyber warfare operator at the 262nd Cyber Ops Squadron, mm -hmm. uh, both over on McCord Field, mm -hmm. uh, here to talk about their guard stories. And, and tell us about something you guys got to do at the White House uh, back in, I think, November or December, correct? Yes. Yeah. I think it was November. <laughs> so uh, we'll, we'll start right away. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Michelle, we'll uh, enter an intro and background on yourself. Um, I, so I joined in the Guard in 2012, and um, I've been a guard, guard baby, guard the whole time, uh, all 12 years so far. Um, I started at the 111th. Uh, shout out to Chief Nolan. And um, he started me out over there, uh, but I quickly just got AGR at WADS. Um, at the time, they weren't offering AGR at the 111th. Um, they were all deployed. So I was training at WADS, and I just got um, picked up over there pretty quickly. So uh, I've been AGR there, and then I PCS uh, to Hawaii, actually, to their sector over there, um, mm -hmm. and got a couple more quals over there, my weapons director qual, and then uh, came back and was picked up as a tech sergeant again in, in WADS, so I got to continue my career back into the sector over here. Yeah, and August, what about you? Uh, first, I started off in the Marine Corps. I was a 6227. I was, uh, I worked on the F-18s. Um, then I got out, went to school. While I was going to school, I didn't really know what to do afterwards. And then uh, Michelle was like, hey, how about you join the Guard? Um, I had a couple of events with her unit at the time, which was the Pacific Air Defense Sector. Uh, everyone was super friendly, super nice, yeah. and I was just like, wow, this is this is awesome. Um, so I ended up uh, enlisting in the Washington Air National Guard. Yeah. So so how did you find out about the Guard? Uh, my f One of my best friends since um, high school, uh, Jessica, She her dad was in the Army National Guard, and I told him I was going to join the active duty Air Force, and he said, you should join the Guard, and I know the Air National Guard, ha like the Air Force has one, and you should look into that. And so I said, okay, I'll look into it, and then I did, and that's um, that's how it started. I just found a recruiter. I don't even know where it was. I think Tacoma. <laughs> yeah, and you kind of talked August into joining the yeah, guard. Yeah, after like. we met, when I PCS to Hawaii, we had moved out there together. Like he moved out there with me, and then he had finished school right at the end of my Hawaii PCS there. And I was like, well, you're not just going to sit around with a degree, you know? Might as well just join the military too. Mm -hmm. And and that's how we got his foot in the door as well. So yeah, and now you're both full time in the guard. We are. Yeah. yeah. So, so both you guys were recently, uh, you were recently chosen to um, represent the Washington Guard in an event with the First Lady at the White House. Uh, would love to talk about that and how, how that kind of came about. Um, it was very last minute. Um, so it was, it was about like three, three days or something I'm before we were supposed to minute. fly out. <laughs> um, and Sergeant, uh, Master Sergeant Lawson um, is the first sergeant at, mm -hmm. at WADS on the Air ADS side. And she had, um, we had just finished an exercise in my group, on my group exercise portion. And, and we were in the conference room and she had come in saying, hey, are you free on the 26th or something of November? And I said, uh, I don't know. I have to look at my calendar. And, you know, there's a bunch of exercises going on. And so I let her know and I said, um, probably. And so I'm, she said, well, we need to know if August is available, too. And I said, why do you need him to do anything? <laughs> so I messaged him and he was asking me a bunch of questions. I was like, I don't have any answers. I just know if you need to know <laughs> if you're free the 26th. So um, I told her that we were uh, once he cleared. He had seen his calendar, and my calendar. And, and I saw, said, yeah, we can do whatever you need us to do. And she goes, well, it's for a White House event. And we're getting more details, you know, today. I was like, well, when we need to fly out when? She goes, the 26th. And I was like, are you serious? So um, it was all like, it was like three days before that. Um, did our DTS that day. Figured out what a spouse travel was on DTS. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because he didn't have to go in uniform. So, um, yeah, it was, it was so last minute. We booked everything that night. And then... Um, even more last minute information came like the day of. So it was, it was just a chaotic yeah. uh, trip. So it, it sounds like this is something the first lady Jill Biden does quite often is meets with yeah. national guard families. What, yeah. what was kind of the, the theme of it? It was a, like a holiday party. There's like a lot of, yeah. like it was decorations and stuff. It was like the unraveling. It was of the unveiling the, of the, of the holiday decor. Yeah. yeah. Um, you're kind of just in the line the whole time while you're there, just, routed through the White House, um, at least the side of it. And mm -hmm. so 
different rooms. They all had different themes and stuff like that. Um, you really only had contact with Joe Biden, like maybe for two seconds for the <laughs> picture. Um, and even then, we didn't even know what the line was for when we were yeah. standing in it. So it was kind of it was kind of literal chaos, like the whole time we were there. And then um, they, there was like a frozen play or or excerpt of all the famous songs or whatever for mm -hmm. from like a frozen musical cast that were there. Um, and they performed that in like this huge marble room. So it was really loud, um, but it was super good because all the kids loved it. I think yeah. it was um, definitely tailored towards like the children coming there and stuff like that. So conversation wise, there wasn't really any conversation. Yeah. For that. For first time at the White House for both of you. Oh, yeah. 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 What, what were your thoughts like walking into this historically amazing building? Oh, yeah. Like all the like historical items that's like littered everywhere. You're like, oh, wow, this is like the China from all the presidents. Just like yeah. random things like that. It's like, like a museum, oh, wow. Yeah. It's just randomly everywhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you guys get to spend some time kind of walk around D.C. or was it a super quick kind of back and forth? Oh, gosh. Well, luckily, my um, when a, a friend of mine that I knew from Hawaii at the sector there, he's the uh, some executive assistant or something like that. Um, he's a senior for Chief Bass. So he is already was already stationed out there. And I, I messaged him. I said, hey, we're flying in kind of late and we're leaving kind of early. But... Um, if you have time, you know, we're going to be in D.C. for like less than 48 hours <laughs> if you can give us a tour. So that night we landed, he picked us up at our hotel and like we just kind of got a night tour, which was actually awesome because there was nobody out. It was kind of like slightly rainy, too. So there's nobody there. So like we just saw all the monuments and stuff like to ourselves. It was yeah, nice. that, that nighttime is always the best. Yeah, it was actually like so better. Yeah. Yeah. Preferred, yeah. Yeah. Especially when it's like a little bit like fall, late fall, yeah. early winter when it's a little mm -hmm. colder. No freezing. one's out. No. Was there was freezing. literally, yeah, there's yeah. like literally nobody there. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was freezing awesome. and nobody was out there. So we had it all to ourselves pretty much. Yeah. So I, I, it sounds like this is a yearly thing. Um, I mean, what would you tell guardsmen who, you know, for next year, like that are picked for this kind of opportunity? I think it's an amazing event to like, you know, showcase the professionalism of like their unit and the Washington Air National Guard. So yeah. definitely. Yeah. yeah, it was a good like ne um, not networking necessarily, but um, kind of putting a face to the name of all the different um, state leadership as well, mm -hmm. because um, I, I never had any contact with my two star, you know, so it's kind of cool to just see him on more of like a personal level, honestly, because yeah. I met his wife and. Everything at the end, they were awesome, you know. So um, I think, and then he he knew the four star of the National Guard, yeah. who was the Oregon two star. So I was like, oh my gosh, you know. And they just talk about fishing and hunting. So yeah. it was yep. kind of cool to see that, that side. That is definitely of, General Doherty and yeah. General Hokinson. <laughs> so it's yeah. kind of cool to see that they, side of the stars. General, you know? General Hokinson came here for an event, and I think yeah. they talked about fishing and hunting more than they did anything That's else. That's so. all they talk about. This it was kind of nice, you know, and like don't talk about work kind of at this yeah. this event. It was kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I mean, anything you know, anything else you want to add? No. Mm -mm. No. Just uh, pre be prepared for Kate for a lot of last minute. <laughs> a lot of last minute <laughs> travel. It was a great time. Though. Yeah. It was awesome. When you think back about it, it's like, yeah, we, you know, I took a napkin from the bathroom because it had a white house stamp on it. Like, <laughs> I'm going to do that because it's never going to happen again. It's never going to happen again. <laughs> yeah. trust so me. I have it. I'm going to frame it someday. But, you know, it was, it was like kind of those things. It's like, yeah, I did that. Like we did it. So it was, and now it's over. <laughs> no, that's awesome. I, I appreciate you guys coming on. Yeah, Thank thanks. You. If you're interested in uh, learning more about what uh, what the event was about, we can definitely put some of the information. I think there's a link in the notes to the story about what uh, Dr. Biden and uh, the chief of the National mm -hmm. Guard Bureau talked about. Uh, if you like the video, give it a like and make sure to subscribe for future videos. And thanks for coming out, guys. Hey, thank you. Thanks. Kind of thanks. Uh.